Woo! All right, I'm starting to record it. I'm gonna give it another minute or two for my- Jen Maiden just messaged me and asked me if she was do if I was doing this. So is she doing this as well? Maiden, yeah. I'm like, I can't see her. I'm like, where is she? Hey Barry, what's up? Aww. Hi, Bill. Hi everyone. Bill. Hi, Bill. Barry. Hi, I'm Stacy. <laughs> Here, nice to meet you. No, everybody. Hi. I'll do a quick. Everyone has names. Cool. We're good. <laughs> Amy Castillo, aka Part Time Bro. Um, she and I um, did stand up together in front of a bunch of porta potties in Atlantic City at around this time last year. It was actually last March, and somebody threw a sandwich at her. Um, no, Ooh, that's our favorite food. Natalie Cuomo, that. super hottie, comedian, hottie who poses in motorcycles, uh, owner and well, new magazine of skanky, trashy, classy, fabulous magazine. Did I get that right? Yeah, classy, bougie, nasty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I too loud? My producer told me I'm screaming. Okay. Uh, Barry Ribs. Um, I'm transsexual, full-time comic. Um, you say full-time comic. Full-time comic. <laughs> wore a dress on my show once. He's the the youngest stand-up comedian in New York City. Barry, where are you coming to us live from a phone booth? <laughs> Yo, King Chrissy. of Facebook statuses. We should say that. Chrissy, I believe you got Kiara Edwards there, right? We do. Yeah. Do you know me, Barry? Yo, let me tell you something. Chrissy and now Kiara knows I am a porn uh, pedophile. What? Pedophile? <laughs> I don't know if you should admit that on YouTube. Wait, Gary. I I don't think think say Look at Jaden's setup. He doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know what he's saying. Aficionado instead of pedophile. He's a porn aficionado. Yeah. Let me let me let me say that a little more clearer. Pedophile. Your porn file. Before Thank all you. you motherfuckers judge me. Too late. Um, I love porn stars. I'm sure they love you. That is a bold statement. And we love you, Barry. I love porn stars, not kids. Just clearing that up. Sissy Hoffman, <laughs> she's running for mayor of New York City. Woo! She's a comedian. She lives in uh, Coney Island, Brooklyn. Um. What else? What else can I say about her other than she's a... The Pressman Hour. Yeah, the Pressman Hour hosts the... Yay! Do you want me to do you... everyone's intro? <laughs> yes. Where, yes. <laughs> Where's Jay? 2021 Mayor of New York City. Libertarian yep. Party. You already have my vote. And then we got Shannon, a uh, producer from Gas Digital Network. Woo! Woo! She's a recent vegan. Um, yay, yay. America 2016. What else can I say? And then we got Remy Casimir, host of the How Come podcast. Woo! Come! The owner of the Comedy Club, one of the very best quarantine comedy clubs uh, of the past few months. Truly. Totally. The only. We got Kiara Edwards, Australian sensation, currently living in Las Vegas. Woo! Some kind of a bathing suit. She's crimped her hair. <laughs> no, I haven't. You know what? I wore whoop, I wore clothes this time. Cause last oh. time I was in my bath. I know. Last time I was in my bathtub and I was like, oh, it's Woo. going on YouTube. I don't want to. I always put one tray. <laughs> I love it. Then we got Bill Schultz, one of the hosts of Morning on Comedy. Uh, uh, bisexual. What else can I say about, about Bill Schultz? <laughs> Bisexual thing. I don't know. If that's You're what bisexual. Thing. Bisexual no. men make the world go round. No, All right. Bisexual. You're straight for now. And then we got Jaden Cole because we needed another redhead up in here. Woo! You have an amazing background, Jaden. Like you have a great setup. Oh. Yeah. And so do you, Shannon. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if Jaden can hear us. Has she been muted this whole time? Jayden. Yeah, Kira, yeah. you're just really hot. So she's got her headphones plugged in and she's not wearing them. <laughs> oh shit, can she hear us? God damn it. Who are we talking about? Jaden, shake, shimmy if you can hear us. Wave if you can hear us. But also 
Tell her to scroll down and tell her to press her unmute button connect? on the bottom left hand yeah, corner. Unmute all. all right. what about that? How come I can't see Jaden in mine at all? God damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> well, she looks good. She does look good. All right, oh, I got it. Cool. Jaden? Hi. Jaden, this is a hot mess. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wanted this to be professional. What was the end game here, Chrissy? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just happy to see you all. Yes! Another bottle! I thought I was going to be the only one. I was like, fuck glasses. I don't want dishes. <laughs> exactly. Chrissy, Chrissy, how come I'm in a tiny box? Where are you, Barry? In a bathroom? Where are you? Where are you, Barry? I don't know. You guys got me in a tiny box and shit. I can't even show my cleavage. No, you it's can. a laptop. I feel like I have to do I'm, my cleavage better. Bill, I'm doing it. I'm doing it for my phone, Bill. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I might as well be doing it for my phone. My laptop's about twenty. Have you guys ever played Never Have I Ever before? Yes. yes. The rule yeah, of this I live game. it, Chrissy. I live it. Okay, cool. So I guess we can go. Yeah, we can go one by one, asking questions. If you did the thing, you, you have to take a drink. Um, if, if you, you what? If you do or you don't? If you did the thing. You take a drink? You take a drink. Like, never have I ever done stand-up comedy, and then Kiara would take a drink. Oh. Also, if, if you haven't done it. If you it, haven't done it, you drink. You're, pro you're oh, trying to get the innocent people. But how do you? Wait, wait, so I always thought it was uh, drink if you've done it. No, yeah. it's drink if you haven't done it. Okay. Yeah, I thought well, it was you trying to get fingers up as some kind of indicator. Yeah, I remember, I remember we used to put our fingers up, but I guess we're, I don't know. Okay, so we are we are we are clear that it's you drink it What? We knew the rules, right? If you okay, so if, so if we have done it, we're not drinking. You drink. If you have done it, you drink. Yeah. Okay. Western version. All right. Looks like it's like oh. like <laughs> the goonies. Jane, can you hear me? This I can. I had my uh my microphone set up and it was blocking the sound. So now I'm just on MacBook Pro audio. Okay. Just to speed, I introduced everyone poorly and we discussed the rules of never have I ever. And I all right, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have done it, you drink. Drink. Yeah. Okay. 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 The people who have done stuff. Oh shit! I don't, I don't have a drink. I don't drink. Shit. It's well, okay. Take a one. take a hit of your thing if you. Go get one. <laughs> yes. That, Remy, hit, take a hit of your pen. Ben took it away. <laughs> or drink water. I'm drinking water. Hey, I'm drinking hey. Water. Uh, the uh, it's the 1998 uh, All Star Game NBA on uh, ESPN. Okay, and by the way, you and I need to catch up about that. All right, we're not here to talk about sports. I want to do that. Summer <laughs> house is on tonight. <laughs> we'll talk after, Bill. Okay, we're doing it. Jane's we're ready. Back. We've got a drink. Um, all right, I'll start. I'll kick it off. Never have I ever kissed somebody of the same sex. If do we drink? <laughs> Jaden's like, is this for real? <laughs> like, I'm not like, this is gonna be gone after the first question. With or without tongue? With or so without you drink tongue? If you've done it, I'm sorry. Oh that could be your question. What? You drink. If you've done it, you drink. Yes. yes. Okay. It's like opposite day. Okay. Right, now. I know Elle didn't drink. I know Shannon didn't drink. I know Barry didn't drink. Remy, did you drink? Yes. Okay. So that's interesting. So, all right, Barry, you're gonna do the next one then. Okay. Now listen. Uh, I'll just say yes or no, because uh, I have no drink and shit, okay? Oh. <laughs> okay. We well, have to ask a question. <laughs> yeah, what's your question? <laughs> I'll answer the question. Go ahead. No, no, you have to do a never have I ever. Oh, you want me to, oh, you want me to do the next one? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never no. been... <laughs> Is that how I start? Is that how I start the yeah, sentence? Yeah, yeah. Say never have I ever. And then yeah. something wild okay. done. That you uh, 
Never, never have I ever had anal with a woman. Oh. <laughs> I've never done Crazy, it. you're going to be drinking soon. You're next. I, I have not forgot you are coming to Las Vegas to do lesbian anal with Jaden and I. I I'm going to put in my Holy guacamole. Right yeah. What's lesbian yeah. anal? I'm sorry. I feel so innocent. It's probably oh, yeah. she wears a strap on. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if full strap on. I don't or know not strap on. What do you call it? I don't know. Anything. Anything so? to put up your butt. Anything yeah, like a dildo or a finger, no, not anything. Like a, anything. Uh, not I'm anything. a dildo or a dildo or a finger. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Ask Jaden. Oh, cool. Or a small Jayden, strap on. Tons of, like I assume, yeah. Like why don't Jaden does tons of all? All she does is girl on girl stuff. And Kira, you do the girl on girl and also girl on guy. You're like you're both, right? Who me? No. Hi. No, Jaden, you're just girls, but Kiara, do you, 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 do you have sex with guys and girls for porn? Uh, anything with genitals, I'll fuck. Let's okay, make yeah. some. <laughs> wow. Anything I can, I will. Yeah. When I first met Kiara, when I first met Kiara, it was on set and she was like, uh, she was like, so a lot of porn chicks will be like, so you don't do dudes, but you're here to do girl, girl. like, and then <laughs> she was like, Oh, I could never do that. I love cock way too much. <laughs> Why don't you? Do? What does Remy look like? She's in an iron lun right now. Uh, why? Like I don't even she's understand. In Portland. That. This is me now. I just smoke weed. And <laughs> in Portland. Yep. Are Relatable. you in Portland? Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm jealous. I want to be in Portland right now. Come, we oh, have Beth, a room. You took a drink. Who did you? I love Portland. Bill, you drank. Who who was your anal with? You drank. You did. You said you did anal. With I'm 44. Yeah, it is plural form. <laughs> All right, fine. That's a, yeah, this is a day. I, I'm I'm just happy I'm not the old, oldest one here. But yeah, you know, I've lived life. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have somebody who did not drink do the next one. All right. So Stacy Pressman, you can do the next one. I never ever gave a foot job. A what? A what? Foot job. A foot job. A F O O T job. Ooh. Not a blow job. A foot job. Ooh. Not yeah. to completion. I love how completion. a lot of you just can't say never have I ever. <laughs> <laughs> never really ever, you, ever. Do you know what? I didn't realize how far I was outside of school that I couldn't remember the rules to never have I ever. Like, yeah. how long did it take us before we actually jumped on? We were sitting there for, what, five minutes going, do we drink when we have done it or when we haven't done it? Do we hold our fingers? Like, we just drank we, with everything. I don't know. Yeah. No one gave a foot, no one's ever given a foot job? Is that the- I have never- I, I have. Oh, good, okay. Yeah. What's that like? Like. It's like, it's like Pilates. It's dry, it's not fun. It's just right. kind of like, Pilates, no, no, no. Right? It's, you've got to get the motion. It's like, yeah. Once you have the motion, motion you like it use It's like a good hands. inner thigh workout. Yes, it's it like is. Pilates. It is. Yeah. Well, it depends where you, like what way you go. Because I know that some people like it when you lay on your stomach and sort of like put your feet up. It's like, and then they just kind of fuck your feet. Oh. Depends on like what kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Can somebody fuck your feet and you them up with your feet? Pardon? Stacey. I did that for our wiki fans. I did that for our wiki feet fans. Wow. Did you jerk them up with your feet or did you lay still while they fucked your feet? Or did they Me? fuck you with their feet? Yes, you, Stacey. Oh, um, I haven't done, I did it one with, with a boyfriend a long time ago. That's after I got out of the foot fetish business. And um, it's like doing Pilates for me. It was like Pilates. I was putting my feet on yeah. it. Like, Seems like yeah, a good core really workout. Good core, it was oh, all a core oh. workout for me. Is and there a risk can't. of like scratching their dick with the unkept toenail perhaps? Yeah. Um, my toenails are very, very filed down. I'm, that's one of my expertise, my toes. Oh. Yeah. I where I shave the bottoms of my feet just off. Like I shave off yeah. a layer of skin. Really? They're enough, yeah. 
It works. It's so painful. And then cry myself in Korean while I do it. We're really <laughs> making sure the boners go up and down in this. <laughs> Yara was doing that the other night on your show. To six. I watched. I was like, wow, she went from making Gino get so excited to so grossed out. It was fun yeah. to watch. Really? I, I like love that. Wow, you made balls. Gino grossed out? Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, impossible. Gino gross that out. takes a lot. To get that guy worked. That, yeah. What was it that grossed him out? <laughs> you and Kiara was talking about how penises can break on set. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, you have but, to get hard for it to break, and I don't think he would know about that. <laughs> I love it's you like now. someone who knows from a chair. Daisy, you're allowed to say that. I'm allowed to say that. I have experience in that section. Yeah. Yo, I'm just yo, I'm just looking at the beautiful women. Barry's Thank probably you. coming. Oh, yeah. Barry's probably coming from all these chicks in one in one Zoom. Yeah. All right, look one Barry, me. twenty Zoom. What is it? With one, <laughs> one Zoom, eighty chicks. One Barry, one cup. All right, Remy, you're up. All right. Never have I ever had um, someone walk in on me while having sex. Oh. Someone walked in on you? Yeah, never have I ever. Look at all of us. Look at us. Look at us. Anybody who has it? Who? I haven't. No. No. Really? Uh Wow. Okay. Okay. He's like, what's I have an own apartment. I pay my bills. What's, <laughs> what's your address? I'll walk in on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It was like my first boyfriend. And I remember we were in his room and it was during college years. And, uh, but it was his room. Like he had moved back home for the summer and his mom was super cool. And we were going at it and she opened the door and went whoop and then walked right back out. Oh. I was like, oh. no, I got to go downstairs and <laughs> Say goodbye. Mine, <laughs> mine was a police officer. I was having yeah. sex in a car with my boyfriend. And they told me, they like came and knocked on the windows and put like the sirens, all the lights on. And then they're like, um, just so you know, there's like some really good hotels down on the strip. <laughs> Oh, it was like a script. Yeah, are you sure you weren't? Yeah, are you sure you're? <laughs> Mine was when I was losing my virginity. No, oh, no, no. Um, it was very romantic, and I was at it, it was at a USC a USC cake party. Oh shit! No. Oh, no. Yeah, I lost my virginity at USC. Go Trojans! Did you use oh. one? <laughs> yeah, I actually did. I'm very proud of myself. You know what's so funny? I was losing my virginity. My best friend walked in and it was like, oh my God, but she was terrified. She knew I was a virgin too. So she like left. And then what's so funny is I thought he was finishing and he just like threw up everywhere. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it was so romantic my first time having sex. <laughs> Did you kiss him after? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was, I, no. We played wine pong before. We deserved it. Wine pong? I didn't even know that was a You know, thing. like beer pong, but like wine pong. Who yeah. knows for you USC know, kids. For like the Real Housewives? Yeah, for like USC <laughs> kids. Was that of a box? No, actually. It was like the, but it was like the big Magnum bottles. Ooh. I'm interested to know what Barry's losing his virginity story was. Yeah, Barry. Yeah. Barry? Yeah. <laughs> Here's on the Barry. Um, yo, uh, it's, uh, 1907. Uh, Jaden. <laughs> yes, Barry. Uh, you wanted to, you wanted to know about my virginity loss? Or Wait, I mean, not specifically. Yes. I just wanted to know what, what year. What year are we talking? Wait, Wait, so hold on. Wait. If, if Barry is a virgin, Jaden, are you willing to change that? No, I just wanted to know what it was like. You know, back in the day, different time. Were the no, vaginas they, smellier? Like, you know, do they have juju yeah. back then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you use was, was protection invented at that point? <laughs> Jaden, uh, to answer very quickly because it's really boring to a porn star like you. But it was, it, Wild. It, it was in the 70s. Hell yeah. And it was in LA. Right on. Me too. And oh. she looked face and body like a porn star. LA. Nice. Wow. California <laughs> State at that point? Huh? Bill? California State? This is pre-gold rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. How old were you, Barry? Yeah. I was, um, I was in my 20s. Wow. That's exciting. I, I, uh, I, I, I wasn't that teen, that teen dude that lost his virginity. I was in my early 20s. How old was the girl? I think she was about two to three years older. Nice. Wow. Three years old. How old for you. Older. How much was the, how big was the bush? Oh my you God. know something? I don't, I don't remember if she was uh, Pam Grant Bush or Baby, Baby No here. I don't remember. It was the 70s. It must have been Sasquatch. I think, I think so, Bill. I think, yeah. I, I think I, so. I, I, by the way, I, I got nothing against that. Like, I, but, she, but, but she was a she was a natural blonde. So if she had a bush, it was very faint. Uh, okay. Do you guys right. want to hear a, a fun fact about me and my bush? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I naturally have really light hair. Like everyone in my family is white blonde. So I actually have to dye my bush because I look like I'm gray downstairs because it's so much lighter than my hair. Aww, it's it's a a tattoo of the mustache. Yeah, how, they do, they don't like it. Well, but by the way, I have to ask, like, how do you dye your bush? With what kind of dye? Yeah. Well, that Fox dye? Has, like, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. And it's the worst. My housemate, like, avoids me because I lay back and I do my eyebrows and my pubes at the same time. So I'm kind of like spread eagle on the They're couch so downstairs and I'm like, it's my it's time. Good. Yeah. Do they have specific dye for Bush? I mean, do they make it in the- Do you like, know what they do, but not here. It's weird because they don't even do eyebrow dye here and back really? home you could buy it in any supermarket. Yeah. Wow. So where, where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, Australia. Australia. Oh. I, want, I knew it. I didn't want to say England because I'd be ignorant. But I knew Australia. <laughs> yeah. Where I, about the I, Oz are you from? Where? Um, so I was born in Melbourne yeah, and I, I lived the most recently in Brisbane. I used to live in Penrith. Oh, you have wow. everything. In where? In Penrith. Uh, it's right outside of Sydney. Right near, oh, the, nice. right near the Blue Mountain. <laughs> You know, right. she went on her first trip to Walmart the other day and she filmed it with a mutual friend of ours. And she was like, oh my God, this place, it's so big. I can't even see the back. This is nuts. What do you think? I'm like, yeah. I love Walmart. <laughs> Walmart is a big deal. It is. It is. For me, I was like, I was trying to, I actually was on the phone to my parents yesterday and they're like, so what is Walmart? And I'm like, look, it's a place where you can get anything. And they're like, but what about groceries? I'm like, yeah, you can get groceries. And they're like, what about like wool? And I'm like, you can get wool. I'm like, you can get guns. You can get jewelry. You can get yeah, sex toys at Walmart. Paint. Yeah, yeah, you can do anything. Vagina yeah. dye. A brand called Plus <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Jan, let's hear from you. Let's throw up a question from you. Okay. Um, I feel like mine aren't going to be very exciting, um, but never have I ever had sex with more than one person at the same time. Ah, got me in, Ken. Wow. I, I <laughs> Jaden and I have had sex with multiple people at the same time together. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Aww. The Aww. first day we met was what, a foursome? Yeah, we were shooting content all for our own. <laughs> Rent so like out. the first time you guys met, you saw each other naked and like was fully like, hi, nice to meet you. Well, no, we oh, had the lingerie on and then we had the conversation about how much she loves dick and how surprised she was that I only eat pussy professionally. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, the only ones that I've been with were like um, during my wild summer uh, when I was on the three summer called and it was these two couples two married couples and it was weird because it was actually like one right after one was one day and the next one was literally the next day because that's how scheduled and organized I was <laughs> and um it was just, it was like both of their like both of the couples it was like their crazy thing to do to spice up their relationship and I was like do you guys have bagels if I'm gonna spend the night I want to have bagels <laughs> So wait, how did that work though? Is it one of those like cuckold things where the guy just watches you hook up with the wife? 
No, like every couple is different, right? Like we would talk about like what they want and don't want. And one couple, the girl did not want me to fuck her husband. And then, yes, okay. I found her more attractive anyway. I was like way less into him. It's like, it's weird. Cause it's like the dude on his own, I never would have ever been interested in, but the girl was very cute. So I was like, okay, sure. And then the other couple, I thought they were both like kind of cute and quirky. They like lived in Sunnyside and they had no boundaries whatsoever. And I, something about that was kind of fun to me. And I like ended up taking them to Bowery Bliss because they had never been to like a, like a club or whatever, a sex club. So that was kind of fun. And, but yeah, it, de- it depends. Like you gotta just have the talk. Yeah. Oh, like the more I talk about it, the more I feel like I should have charged for my services, but whatever. Yeah, I was gonna say, you should have gotten paid for that one, Chrissy. Well, and Chrissy, that's like a big thing, because like the married couples that I know that do that, they're, they're a lot, most of the times there's rules. And the, the big rule is a lot, of, most of the time that the husband can't actually have sex with the third party. And, and I, and there's this like, like penetrative sex. There's a secret rule of like the husband can't really be overly interested or it will totally mess with the wife. Yes. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I had that happen telling. to me. The girl has to be attracted to the other girl. Like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. No, but the guy can't pay the other girl more attention. Me and an ex partner went to a brothel once, and we hired this girl and. I think it's the third person's real responsibility to make sure that it doesn't go bad. She turned around and it just ended up being those two and like me watching and we didn't talk to each other for four days. <laughs> it happened to me oh, only wow. it was a friend really? that we brought in and not a professional. And so yours is worse. What happened, Remy? You know the story, don't you? I don't know if I know. Um, the important thing is I don't, so continue. Okay. Um, <laughs> do I know the people in the party? Okay, you do. Well, Wait. not the, not the Wait, do I? Okay, it's with my boyfriend, but- or Benny. But he wasn't my boyfriend at the time. He owed me nothing. I just loved him from afar. We were fucking for a while. And then there was a friend of mine who had just gotten dumped by her boyfriend for seven years. Uh, he didn't know it, but she was cheating on him with Julio. Um, but so she seemed real sad one night before Valentine's Day. And I was like, oh, like, let's be nice and include her. And then it was basically like them fucking and me just like sitting in the corner being like, <gasps> no. Yeah. That happened to me with an ex of mine. Like, it was the first one I had ever done. And I thought, oh, I have to be cool, which means I have to have no rules or feelings or thoughts. And yeah. I just let everything happen that could possibly happen, or else I'm not the cool girlfriend. And then I said, and then I, I brought condoms and put them around the hotel room, thinking I was throwing condoms at them yes. like from the corner. I was like, please be safe. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just being cute and fun, not because I really wanted the two of them to have sex. And my boyfriend and that the other girl, like they used to hook up, but I just thought, oh, let me be safe. But I didn't want it to happen. And then I like watched him have sex while he was like looking at me and I was like ah! oh, <laughs> oh, it made me so sad so sad it's yeah. nice that you actually it really went to that ruin a good thing it's nice that you went to that like sex club with a couple and you guys were doing do's and don'ts that's something that I've only seen on like professional adult film sets where you go yeah. through a, you have a designated time to go through do's and don'ts and it's really important I was, wow. yeah. Sometimes well, they're yeah, like those two events were like five years apart, so I learned a but lot. But the other thing with the do's and the don'ts, the other thing I think to remember is like I think it's important to do do's and don'ts regardless of whether it's a threesome, whether you've had sex once or a hundred times. Like I know me personally, sometimes I want to have like nice romantic sex, and other times I'm like, just slap me across the space and spit on me. You know, mm-hmm. right? I think I each. Get it. Thing should be like discussed beforehand and be like, look, I'm cool if you do all this stuff, but I'm not okay if you do this today. Yeah. Yeah. But it never seems like cool to like talk about that stuff, right? It never, like, because you feel like, yeah, but who cares about being you? there with like your, you know, conversation? You can do so much more freaky, weird shit. Yeah. It, then like people feel like more comfortable and like respected. Totally. Oh. 
That's new. <laughs> I always used to use traffic lights as well. So you do like green's okay, yellow's yeah, and then red's like that. We're done. Like go away. Red light. Oh, I love that new version. Wow, the adult version. Yeah. Yeah. Red light. Well, because sometimes. Yeah, well, sometimes you sit there and you're like, look, I'm not okay if you piss in my mouth. And then, like, you're in the moment and you're like, you know what? I wouldn't say no to that right now. <laughs> like, you know what? You didn't drink enough water today. Let's table this. <sighs> it goes from a yellow to a red. <laughs> <laughs> Urine was definitely not the greatest idea to discuss. Yeah. All right, Kiara, you should do one. Oh, God. Um... Never have I ever been overseas. Never have I ever been overseas? Oh, what? Overseas? Yeah. You mean like Europe or Asia? Anywhere yeah. else? I mean, you went overseas from Australia to America. Mm-hmm. No, I think it's more interesting because I find that there's so many Americans that don't travel overseas. Ah, totally. Yeah. It's called being broke, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Also, think about like how big our country is versus mm -hmm. like Europe is very that's small. And it seems like they can all like travel within, but it's like that's like going to like Philly for us. Yeah. yeah. Right. Imagine if Philadelphia and New York and Massachusetts all had three separate languages. That's basically wow. crazy. Yeah. 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 It's like a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. I speak Philadelphian. <laughs> Well, in your, in, 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 in your country, and I love Australia, but your, Australia is about landmass the same size as the United States. Is uh, it? The mainland of the United States yeah. is the same size. But having said that, the population is maybe New York City plus another Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, that that a bit, yeah. We're all on the outskirts of the country. Like, yeah, no one you're really all by the water. The and the outback yeah. is not, nothing, yeah. Yeah. All right, Bill, you're up. <laughs> yeah, Bill, you're up. Well, I'm realizing that never have I ever doesn't necessarily have to do fully with sex, so we could have some fun. Oh, with gosh, it. here we go. Uh, oh, never, right. have I, never have I ever as an adult just... What? Never have I ever as an adult just randomly shat my pants. Yes! <laughs> yes! I, I get excited oh, because I had and, and, wow. and, and I had this game with people before, and then I did like a year ago, and I was like, I've done it. <laughs> How did it happen? <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. Everyone's got to do their shit in their pants story. Oh, mine's a horrible story. I never you have. have. You have one? Sure. I have one. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course. of course. I was coming up from South Jersey. Uh, oh, well, there Bob, you go. From Reverend Bob Levy's house after doing radio, and I couldn't hold my poop in. And I was on the Long Island Railroad, and I held it in. I held it in. Luckily, I was wearing a dress, and then I pooped all <laughs> over myself on the on the platform of the Long Island Railroad. Here goes the boners again. Here goes the boners again. Yeah, crazy. But, it depends on what you're I took off my panties. And um, that's where it gets. And then I was afraid the, the the hardest part was going from not walking down the street so you could avoid people, but going into my apartment building and getting from my door to my apartment without shitting on my. That's my apartment building lobby. Like, uh, there's a, I think there is there bath. There's not bathrooms on the Long Island Railroad. There is. I was off the I was off the railroad. There is the now. <laughs> yeah. I pooped a little on the tree like a dog, and then I continued on. But anyway. I, my God, Stacy! No, you know there are bathrooms on the Long Island Railroad. No, I didn't have to go until I got off the train. It was like oh one of these things. God. I was holding it in. I was holding it in, and I was like, ah! and then I just couldn't. It was like it was like a, it was like it was the frozen yogurt. I think. Uh, was it squirting? <laughs> yeah. Look, the thing coming out. You so I have to share this poop story. So it wasn't <laughs> mine, but it was my friend, and they like this happened. Like I kid you not, like just before quarantine they came and they called me and they were so excited and i was like what's going on and they're like look we did something but no one can know and i'm like oh okay and they're like we were driving around and you know how there's those people we really don't like well i needed to go to the toilet so i took a shit on their lawn <laughs> I'm 
he's, he's like, I didn't think I'd make it home. So I just pooped on the lawn, like behind a tree. And I was like, holy shit. Barry loves this. That's an aggressive. Wait, 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 uh, you talking to me, Bill? Oh, well, yeah, you can do yours too, brother. But uh, Kiara told a friend of hers poop story. But Kiara drank, so she has a poop yeah. story. Yeah. Well, if, um, first, first of all, Chrissy, thank you for having me because you know how much I love porn stars. That's number one. <laughs> We've established. Number, but, <laughs> Bill, don't make me laugh. I'm missing teeth, okay? Right, yeah. Number two, I. I am trying to impress these porn stars, so I am not telling my fucking story, okay? <laughs> Everyone no does fucking it. Way. The name of childhood book. I haven't pooped my pants. I haven't either. <laughs> well, mine was transit. You're young, though, now. Knock on wood. We and open to 8 a.m. I wake up. My meter has expired, and I have to move my car. So uh -huh. I go to move my car. I bring it uptown. I park my car, like, 40 blocks above my apartment because it's cheaper up there. I get into wow. an Uber pool. Why? Um, <laughs> why a pool? It drops off three people while I'm like being like, oh my God, poop is coming. <gasps> I and feel your pain I, like, already. <laughs> was like sweating and like just like looking at everyone. And, like I'm just being like, oh my God, I'm so sorry if anything happens. Then he gets to my um, house. I run through the lobby. Don't even say hi to the doorman. <gasps> Um, get to my apartment, go in, and like right before taking my pants off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This close. At least the clock is thickened. Um, can I, can I jump in here? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Chrissy, did I initially say all you ladies look beautiful? And Bill. No. Oh, lady. And, oh, and, Bill, and uh, can, Kiara, you look like somebody famous. You've been told you look like Bobby Benton. Oh. Who's that? I don't know who Bobby Benton is. I mean, that's an old rapper. Like brother. That's, that's Hugh Hefner's uh, ex that's his girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. He was a pretty. Yeah. yeah. She's who stunning. Was that? And, and Remy, I got a question for you. Yes, Barry. <laughs> Do you? The persona you have tonight, is that the same one you have when you have therapy? <laughs> what? I don't go to therapy, oh, I'm okay. cracked. <laughs> Who's coming in? Kenny Warren's coming in. Stop. He is late. I'm not gonna say anything about stereotypes, but he is late. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wait, where are we? It looks like he's about to pee right over the phone. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Thinking. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, block him out, block him out, Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. And, and Kiara, I have a favor uh, from you. Yeah. Kiara, I need, a, I need, I okay. need you to tell Holly Randall I love her, okay? I will. I will. She's pregnant. Kenny, we were so nervous. Yeah, is she? Oh I mean it. How do, how do you see? What are you looking at? I can't see everybody. Oh. I can't tell if it's his dick or his forearm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, don't boost his ego. I, sure. I probably shouldn't complain that I don't see anything. Hi, Kenny Warren. <laughs> oh, Kenny Warren. There he is. <sighs> that was We're not. What? <laughs> I'm going to text him saying, like, this shit is not together. Right. <laughs> oh, Jaden, do you, do you work during the pandemic? Yeah, I work uh, every day on OnlyFans. <laughs> it's a website. I usually feature dance. I'm on the road like two or three weekends a month. And uh, I was I was booked on the road like five, all five weekends from April 2nd to May 2nd. So I should be in Philly this weekend. Um, but uh, those all got canceled. So I've been going hard on OnlyFans. But it's been working out really well. The people that knew they could see me on the road live yeah. on OnlyFans. Yeah, they, like, like a bunch see me of on OnlyFans in, in Philly. So do, you, so do you film scenes now or that's off? No, I still, um, I'm down to, I was actually supposed to film content with a, a girl the day after the pandemic, the lockdown happened. And she didn't call me the night before I was getting nervous. I was like, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing this. And it was like 3 p.m. when she finally said like, hey, the studio won't let us come because they're all, everyone locked down. I was like, okay. She's like, sorry, I really wanted to work with you. I was like, gotta go, bye. I was happy. 
to have yeah. it done. I could just sit at home and talk to people on OnlyFans and it's been going really well financially. Kenny well, Warren. Hard. Kenny! His audio Kenny. isn't connected. His ah. audio didn't connect. Tell him to go down to um, the bottom left corner, right corner, his right. Weird. I don't get you feeling like we're going to get a dick in our faces in about. Yeah. Well, I keep, t I texted him that his, his camera's on. <laughs> As a as a good host does. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, Did you realize? Kenny. Kenny, can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Kenny, so can you hear me? I love how you picked all old men for this, Christy. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> Bill. Just kidding. These are my friends. All right, we haven't heard from Natalie. Natalie, it's your turn to do one. Um, never have I ever used a butt plug that had a tail on it. <laughs> Bill, why are you laughing at that so hard? I mean, wait, yeah. That's, that's very that's specific, yeah. Natalie. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Kenny. Kenny, did you hear that one? Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, have you ever used a butt, butt plug with a tail? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> right. people. Kenny's like my family. I don't see this Kenny. Yeah. You guys didn't um, hear my phone. I said tail all. Tail all. Hey -oh. <laughs> By the way, that was such a specific question, and yet I haven't seen Natalie drink yet. I'm assuming she has. She has what? Use a butt plug. You tail. Oh, yeah. not the tail. <laughs> what do you mean? Right. Oh, I like yeah. what you did there. <laughs> so who's doing it? Kiara, you the only one? Yeah. <laughs> did you use the tail butt plug? She's, our, she's gonna be the winner. <laughs> Kiara's on a second butt plug. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once or twice. Or ten or twenty times. <laughs> Heidi's like, what the hell did I walk into? <laughs> <laughs> I've used multiple. I've used like the fluffy little like bunny rabbit one, and then I used one that used to like touch the floor. It was like, what? A pony really? Wow. Yeah. Look at cat. What was that like? Um. Uh, I don't know. I kind of just did it with a girlfriend, just a joke. <laughs> we were like. <laughs> Making right. selfies, and she's like, like, I don't you were these bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. By the way, this person, what does that do for <laughs> women? Because women don't have a prostate, so I always heard that the reason the guys get pleasure from that kind of stuff, particularly gay men. Yeah, go ahead, Chrissy. Uh, is that um, you know we have prostate, and so that it's pleasurable there. But what does that do for a woman? Remy, Remy wants to answer. Okay, so this is the best thing I've learned from my podcast in, t in its entirety is mm -hmm. when we think of the clit, all you think of is like the outside, like little nubbin thing. Mm -hmm. The clit actually goes four inches back into your body and like around wow. the vaginal opening and like obviously like your anus is there too. So like when somebody's having like a vaginal orgasm, it's just because their clit on the inside is closer to those vaginal walls. And if somebody's having an anal orgasm, it's probably like their clit goes further back or something like oh, we're are you I did not know that. I'm I 44, know. I did not know it's that. It's fucking wild. It looks, so the embryonic tissue of the clit is the same thing that a dick is made of. And the way that they look is like very similar. Like they both look like wish, but I'll like show you guys a photo sometime, but. <laughs> I'm a doctor. It's insane. Is, like, are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? He's a doctor. Oh. I'm the queen of cum because I couldn't and now I can. Yeah, that was the whole point of the podcast is it took you so long to figure out how to actually have an orgasm. Really? And he's like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Um, but you guys, this is- I did not know any of that stuff. God. I have oh, to go. Have we love you, Remy. Oh, Remy. Thanks for sharing your medical uh, insights. I love you all very, Bye. very much. Bye, Randy. And watch those angles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're doing this on purpose. All right. Remy's out. Kenny's in. Kenny, it's your turn. Never have I ever. You're up. Jesus Christ. Is he on a dial? What's it done? 
<laughs> Where's Kenny? Stop, through, stop with the stereotype. Kenny, Kenny. Kenny. First of all, tell him horizontal. He's yeah. a professional. I thought so. But in order to be like, in order to be uh, an entertainer these days, whether it's a comedian or a porn chick or uh, a mo whatever, you know, you really got to have like a lot of things in line. You got to have your talent, your business mind in line. And then you also got to be like tech savvy, especially yeah. like, now and yeah. right. you see where Kenny's lacking. Yeah, you got to get it together. <laughs> we, it's not their fault. They're older. <laughs> Aww, older men. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> Find it endearing. <laughs> All right. Who hasn't gone yet? Jaden. I, I right, never have I ever been in a room where there are more than one dude with his dick out. <gasps> more than one dude. But that's like a locker room. Oh, there you go, Bill. About that. No, okay, how about this, Bill? Hard dick out. Dick. Locker room. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys I know, know where I work, right. but oh, I also see a lot of yes, hard dicks. Yes. <laughs> Why do people tell us the story? Do they get erections? Wait, wait before we get to the story, do they get erections in locker rooms? Maybe. Sometimes. Has anyone ever been in a locker room and seen someone with an erection? My boyfriend is saying no, he hasn't. Oh, we <laughs> everyone. Can't see anybody. Maybe after a big win, they're all excited. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, like, the, there is, I don't know how, I mean, no one gives a shit if women hook up with other women in a locker room. I think it's encouraged. But um, in men locker rooms in gyms in New York, gay sex happens all the time. And, oh, yeah. yeah. And, how like, do you know, Bill? A lot of times they'll have signs on the sauna that says no inappropriate activity really? tolerated and they'll shut down the sauna in like a New York sports club. Oh yeah, there was the one- I've had sex in a gym. Ooh. Continue. Really? Where? In the locker room, but in the woman's locker room with a man. Yeah. I've, I'm so, yeah. What what you you do? Do? <laughs> and, and as Chrissy knows, I think I've shared on the wet spot, I've had sex in the most random weird places in general. Yeah, me too, yeah. I once emceed an orgy. I wasn't in the orgy, but I emceed it. <laughs> I had sex on a greyhound. How do you emcee an orgy? Uh, you get hired for a comedy gig for a sex uh, positive party, and then you end up uh, having to do stand up in front of people having sex. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably do that. Pointing out people. Is that better or worse than Zoom comedy shows? <laughs> Ugh, I think so I'd rather tough. fuck. I'd rather do um, comedy. But you're like hosting. Comedy show. Yeah. You're like hosting. You're not like doing your bits. No, but you just can't. You see heads move around and cocks everywhere. And it's like very, very it's very distracting. Really very interesting. Yeah. Is Brooklyn, Stacy. Yes, I'm in Brooklyn. Yes. I'm in my, no, no, I'm no. on my parents' bed right now. FYI. Can I can I ask how much the spot pay was? Like how much was the MC gig? I, I well, know. I I did two two spots. Um, it was like or was $400. It a, it was a bringer? <laughs> it was a bringer, bring your own dick. Um, no, uh, it was like $400 and it was like two, I had to do two spots that night. So I had to do one in a, in a normal show, like a normal, you know, people were just like eating food. And then the second one was like at the pool at night. Every, you know, they rented the whole place out and then they were just like fucking each other in the pool and they wanted us to do stand up. But there's also midget wrestling at the same time. So anyway, that was the whole, oh, it was a great nice. I want to come. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. It was fun. It was fun for those people that were doing it. It wasn't fun for the comedians. There's like three of us. It was yeah. very awful. We didn't know what we got into. I mean, I wouldn't have minded. I wasn't judgmental. It just was, everyone was kind of weird and like, they didn't really, they weren't really friendly. <laughs> Isn't, is don't you want your crowd to be engaged in what you're doing? Yeah. Exactly. They were engaged Can't in what they were doing. I mean, I wouldn't want to hear stand up as someone's dick was in my mouth. I mean, I I'm sorry. I don't know how that would work. I know. <laughs> I'd be so annoyed. I'd be like, hey! <laughs> hey! No! But uh, it was an experience. I think everyone should try doing a comedy and orgy. That's a tough crowd. I wouldn't be able to focus. It's like, I'm either in the mood for laughing or I'm in the mood for banging. It'd be so hard for me to, like, switch gears so fast. Right, yeah. right. Well, we weren't allowed to, um, um, in Can our contract, we weren't allowed to have sex with the people that were there. Literally, <laughs> we had to sign that. So, so like, yeah. two drink minimum, no having sex with people. 
They fed Bye. us. We could we couldn't get we, we we got fed and we couldn't get fucked. That was. I love that an orgy has rules. They uh, have a lot of rules, or else it gets crazy. Oh well, yeah, all orgies. Yeah. You have to. You need a lot of rules. No, but like rules for the hired help. Like you would assume they'd want the hired help if they want to. If it. If they, they, we weren't allowed. That's it's like getting know. free food at you know when you do shows. <laughs> You can't get the steak dinner, Drinks. but you can get the you can get the, the chicken fingers, but you can't get the steak. That's what it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. You, you, they they didn't give you any drink tickets or anything, huh? Yeah. No, they gave us. They, they, no, we actually had to buy. I had to buy wine for myself. Wow. I had to buy my own wine. I remember. That's that. awful. It's terrible. No, Talk really. about shit. I mean, I should do a book called Shit Gigs. You really <laughs> should. You should write a book. Yeah, I did. I should do a did book called Shit Gigs. I don't Did anybody it. check on Kiara? We haven't seen her in two minutes. Kiara. She's right here. <laughs> Kiara, do you guys have the same exact dog? No. I, do you know what? Oh, let me. You, I'm going to go grab her. We can, like. I wait, you all have. You guys yeah, have, have everything. Come here. See me. You're it. Hey, uh, Kenny. This Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> We still can't hear him. Yeah, there's an unmute. I just think he's watching it. Maybe there's an really unmute talking. button at the bottom of the Zoom on one of the corners. Yeah, all participants are unmuted. Kenny. Kenny's just like, what's up? I can't imagine how NASA does it. You know, this is so hard to get everybody. Wait, I still have a question for Anne Marie. How did you get a guy into a woman's locker room at a gym? Yeah, I was thinking about uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Because I used to manage, so like a bad detective. I used to uh, manage a gym in Gramercy, and a guy I was dating came to um, towards the end of my shift, and I was like, "Let's go to the locker room." Uh oh, I was feeling adventurous. <laughs> love it, love it. And so just and, you know, we did it on the bench. Like, and you you managed it where like everyone had already left the gym, or were there still women there that could have come into? No, there were some people there, but like I don't know, I just. Yeah, I don't know. Impressive. It wasn't Equinox, was it? Was it Equinox on HBO? No, no, it was a private gym in Gramercy. Okay. It was called Hype. Was it Crush? Okay. No, it was private. So it's like where all the trainers bring their private clients. And no, I so had a private that client. <laughs> Bill, you should be more interested that I had sex on a Greyhound coming back from Atlantic City one time. Yeah, a full Greyhound. A full Greyhound, sold out Greyhound. From Atlantic. City. Okay, I, I went to the toilet one time, and I'm just gonna say I would rather shit myself than go in a gray house toilet. So I don't no, we had it. sex on the last chair, like in the back of the Greyhound breast. I hope my mom watches this; she'll be very proud. <laughs> that is do fucking. Do I know this person? Oh. Amory? What? Do I know? The you person? do know the person. Oh, I think I know it. Oh, wait, yeah. but no, I don't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. It's oh. who is it? Uh, his name, his name's Phil. He's been on Stacey's podcast a couple times. Good friend of Stacey Craftsman. We're friends. We're friends. Yeah, friends. Yeah. <laughs> He's cool. Yeah, we, it's a hilarious nice moment guy. when we, when we were dating, when we were seeing each other, we, we were adventurous. We, yeah. That's fun. That's fun. Why not? He's a good guy. I mean, classy. Uh, I don't know what got into us and I don't know how we pulled it off. We're both like large humans. I'm six foot. He's like, what? Six, two. Yeah. That's, I that's that. impressive. I Right I know. The worst I did to have was suck dick in an Uber. He's a nice guy to have sex in a thing, weird place with. He's, he's, mm. nice. he's a good boy. Uh, Where yeah. else did you guys have sex? Like, what other weird places besides the Madison Garden? Square Garden, when I was 29. So bad. Where? What, was um, it a concert, well, a Knicks game? It was oh, a concert. Really? It was a Nine Inch Nails concert. No, it was maybe earlier than, maybe a, a lot, in the 90s. Um, and, uh, it was a Nine Inch Nails concert, and I got nailed, and, um, uh, it was in the box, you know the boxes that people read, you know, uh, my, um, my mom's friend owned a box, those big, A sweet, yeah, we, yeah, a sweet, yes, yeah. those are very nice, do you still know yeah. that friend? Yeah, anyway, so we used to go there, and, mm -hmm. um, my ex-boyfriend and I had sex in it, like, and then we had sex, yeah, we had sex in it. During the whole concert, we only went to the box, so it was. That's awesome. So That's he cool. was in my box, and I was in that box. I and hooked up on an Amtrak too. I guess I like transportation. You like transportation, Amory. You get off on transporting yourself. Have you ever yeah, fucked up on an airplane? No, I think I, I can't fit. I don't know. I'm like I said, I'm very tall. I don't know how people fit in those bathrooms. 
It's hard. Even as a straight know. person, it's hard to get into a like a airplane bathroom. I masturbated on a plane once. It Ooh. was at night. It was at night. Everyone was kind of sleeping. The lights were out. I had the blanket over me, and I had like a my friend that travels with me in the middle seat. And I don't think he. Uh, all the lights were off. My headphones were on, so I no. couldn't hear myself. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> "That's that's like every flight for me. I'm masturbating every flight." I had to get it out. Yeah. I had to get it out. Sad I to be on a flight because I'm always like upset that I'm not getting a drink. <laughs> I like they right never give me snacks every time. Well, and by the way, they never talk about it, but this is still, I believe, a fact. If it is um, the fault of the uh, airline rather than like a weather issue, you can't have free drinks, but you have to remind them that they have to give you free drinks. If it's yeah. actually the fault of the airline, they will give you free drinks. That's a fun tip. Yeah. I won't tell you. You have to ask. You have to remind them? Yeah, you have to remind them. Mm -hmm. Good tip. A little life hack right there. Also, if you're crying, they're going to give you a free drink. <laughs> I don't think so. I didn't get a free drink when I was crying on an airplane. Really? You had to really, you have to put yourself into it. Because it was right after my mom died. I was flying somewhere. I was sobbing because I was thinking of her. And all of a sudden, like, the gay flight attendant just handed me in a, a Bloody Mary. He was like, oh. on me. And it was like the best day of my life. I will not fly Jetstar anymore because they don't give out free drinks and I was actually on a flight and I witnessed something that was horrible. This poor fucking woman, she had like this sick toddler that was screaming and we were on our way to Hawaii. So it was like 10 hours on a flight and she's got four fucking children and one of them is really sick. Like she's vomiting, she's like crying, she's got a fever. So they're trying to give this kid like... um Advil kind of thing, like kids painkiller kind of thing to stop the fevers. And she turned around to the air hostess and was like, look, have you got, she hates the taste. Have you got some ginger ale or like some apple juice, like anything to get this kid to take this medication. And the air hostess grabs it. He goes, that'll be $5, please. Oh, no. For a sip. And I was like, this is bullshit. I am never fucking flying Jetstar again based off that. I've never even heard of Jetstar. What is Jetstar? Is it even a business? I don't even know what it is. Yeah, what is, is that like the um, spirit yes. of Australia? <laughs> I think it might be. I actually, do you know what the worst part is? I sang at Jetstar's first birthday when I was a little kid. Um, and I fucking hate them. I'm like, I'm never playing them again. But I think it's, they do fly to America, but, and I think yeah. they fly, they fly in Asia. But I'm not I sure about Europe. Would fly to Hawaii. Wow. Well, I believe your own Qantas is still the only airline that's never had an actual uh, crash. Really? Yeah. That, that, that's the Qantas? Only I don't even know, know that. that. Yeah. No one flew Qantas for years because they had all these like things go wrong where like the plane, I remember the plane dropped like a lot. Uh, yeah, no one would buy them, and they had. They must have had a crash. No, well, maybe they, they have now. Crash. That's an old fact. But uh, like, no, actually, I don't think they have because I would have known about it by now. I think they are the only major airline, if you call it major, that has never had. A, let's a, let like, Google tell us. Let's give it a Google. All right, let's do. Um, uh, let's answer this question. Never have I stolen money from my parents. Say that again. What? Never have I ever stolen money from my parents. Stolen money. Yeah. That's a great question. Okay. I've certainly gotten loans, but I don't think I've stolen. Me neither. Yeah. Well, I should have done something that I've done. I was going to say, you're not drinking. No. I grew up worried about my parents' financial situation. The last thing I was going to do. Was yeah, my dad had a lot of jobs, so I wasn't going to hurt the cause. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Bill, when did you live in Australia? Uh, 96 to 97. So they were just starting to prepare for the Olympics. And I was, uh, I was there when Pauline Hansen first started getting, when, when Pauline Hansen became, went from being a fish manga, she's basically in Australia, their female Trump, uh, but even more racist. Uh, she's yeah. She's horrible. She like rocked up to parliament. In, yeah, like, the whole I never thought she would get this far. I was oh there in her beginning, yeah. 
from uh, Queensland. She, oh, yeah, she's, yeah. oh, she just kind of like it. She was like, a fishmonger. And I don't believe she'd ever gone past, um, uh, not your uni, whatever your version of high school is. But she's not a smart person, but she, was, she hated Asians. And a lot of uh, Aussies got problems with Asians because a lot of them come in Australia and they feel like they're taking over the country. And so she, her whole thing was, we got to stop with the Asians. And she just started excelling from there. And I think the Asian countries above us all became more Islamic. So that's what um, Australia is going through at the moment is like uh, Indonesia, not, yeah, Indonesia. So like Bali and all those places, it's now illegal to have sex with anyone that you're not married to. If you're (laughs) caught, it's like 12 months in prison and a public lashing, six months if you're caught living together. And they have actually done this to people recently. And they send people to prison. But that Qantas thing, they said, well, Qantas has never had a fatal jet airline accident. Qantas was rated the worst, safest airline (laughs) by airline ratings. (laughs) Oh, it's the best sentence ever. Well, and like, yeah. by the way, and Kara, uh, I adore Australians. Like, I, you guys are the nicest people I've ever met in my life, truly. Like, I remember being on, on trains and being like, why are these fucking people talking to me as an American? you're not in New York. Yeah, I'm like, I, like, they want something? No, they would just be nice. But I, I will say this. The entire time I was there, there was a lot of Aussies coming up to me. And I was a guest in your country, so I just sort of took it. But a lot, every, every Aussie would come and say that, oh, mate, what are you going to do about your racism? What are you going to do about your racism? Your Americans are so racist. And, like, you've got to figure that out. And I remember thinking, well, Jesus, I, I just sat there and I took it. I, Australia is one of the more racist countries I've ever been to. I, I forget about it. Forget about the Asians. But the Abbas, mate, the Abbas. I would go to bars where they would not allow Aborigines into the bar. And wow. I remember thinking, like, this is, like, 1930s America with our with black people. And, like, I could not believe it. And every day, some Aussie would come up to me, mate, you, you, you Americans, you got to figure it out. You got to figure it out. You guys are very racist. Very racist. Do you know? Like, look at yourselves. <laughs> Do you know what they say? So I always go by the thing of Australians aren't racist because we just hate everybody. All right, I like that. Yeah, all right, that's good. Yeah, but, but, but boy, in America, it doesn't matter what your race is, you can go into a bar. True. They are super nice. Like, I remember telling Kira, I was like, you know, when I get cranky at people or whatever, for whatever reason, <laughs> I just think to myself, like, what would Australians do? They would just yeah, like, oh, Right. You know, it's kind of a good memory. Like, check yourself. Like, you're a privileged American. You got everything handed to you, basically. So, like, let's, you know, Australians are so happy, and I just find Without it. Out of that. And by the way, they're all so good looking. Every oh, single yeah. Australian yeah, is Kara. unbelievably attractive. Yeah. I, you're not the first Australian I've worked with. There was this tall, blonde, beautiful girl who was like, from Australia. She was half Armenian, but you couldn't tell. She had like blonde hair, blue eyes. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm Lebanese, half Lebanese. And she was like, Oh my God, like we're white girls, but we got this like Middle East. Like it was really cool. They were all so friendly. Wow. Isn't, isn't, and boy, the way, this you look like a 12 year old girl, but isn't Shakira Lebanese? Yeah. Like American? Representative. Do you speak, yeah. do you speak Arabic then, Jaden? No. Like I could know a couple of terms that you would know as an American to go over there. Cause I do. do you, hold on. Do you know what kiss and buck is? No. So. <laughs> You know, Shamota, like, I, I speak, do I, you? Mm, I do, I speak quite a bit, dude, oh yeah. no, we lost her, oh, oh no, oh, I'm back, <laughs> yeah, Chris, I want to say good night, good night, Barry, it's late, good night, Barry, Barry. guys, I'm gonna say good night, well, it was so fun to see you, bye, Natalie, Bye. Christy, thank you for having me. I'm going to watch Jaden and Kiara tonight. Yes. We're like, going to their only thing. You can watch it. Yeah, you can okay, watch us together. Yes. Uh, you know, jadenfans.com is where I'm working. Oh, my God. My dog just, right. my dog yeah. just unfolded one of my lights. We're going to go through everybody. Andre, where can people find you? Um, you can find me. All my handles are part-time bro. Woo. 
Uh, at Barry Ribs on Twitter, Barry underscore on Instagram and Facebook, and XNXX Porn. All right, oh Shannon. God, Barry. Uh, and follow me on Instagram <laughs> at Shannon Lee 6982 and listen to my podcast, The Thing Is. Dangerous. Yay! Great podcast. Kiara? Um, Instagram is Kiara Edwards XX. Twitter is Kiara Edwards XO or OnlyFans.com slash Kiara Edwards. Or if all else fails, just type my name in a porn hub. <laughs> awesome. Bill? You can find me at ginobisconti.org. Oh, um, God, don't do that. At, uh, on my Instagram page, six the cat XXX, XXX. Stop. You don't want to take, you don't want to. And if you want to still watch Morning on Combat Media Monday through Thursday, and yes. Jaden Cole. Uh, Jaden Cole on Twitter, and then Miss Jaden Cole on Instagram, but I'm constantly deleted and shadow banned and all that. So, good luck. Yeah. Well, Jane and I will bug Chrissy about uh, her sending, forcing her to send uh, me your info. We'd love to have you on the show. Definitely. I listen to it sometimes. Ever since oh, I got on. Yeah, because Chrissy, you know, I got a little hook up on the login for Compound. So sometimes. Yeah, I gave that to her. Barry was asking if I work, and I do two live shows 11 a.m. per week, and then I do two live shows at 8 p.m. per week. So my morning shows, I actually really, I don't have TV, so you guys are kind of like my morning shows sometimes. Great. Love well, yeah, we'd love to have you on. You uh, I'll, I'll bug you for some dates. Yeah. For sure. And like everybody here has done, has done some stuff. Yeah. Media. Um, Stacey Pressman. S, uh, Stacey Pressman, Twitter, Facebook, run, vote for me for mayor. Um, <laughs> if you want to legalize everything. Anyway. What? You got my vote, baby. I'm running for mayor of New York City. You really are? I really, really am. Are? Yeah. Like, yeah. Not, I really no missed joke. this. Wow. Okay. I got to catch up. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was on Larry. If you listen to Larry Sharp's show, if you go to Facebook, we do an interview. Uh, and so you can see me there. And I talk about the issues. That, of my um, my platform. <laughs> I'm going to have to come on Bill's show I, again. I didn't know you guys were doing it virtually. So I'll have to come on and wake up in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're, we're yeah. still doing It's all Skype and Zoom all the yeah. time. Yeah. I'll Skype Stacey. In, I'll Skype in. Yeah. Stacy, because you just the the media company I cover the NFL for, they interviewed you. Yes, yes. Jim Jack. Right. They're, yeah, they're great. I love them. Nice. They're super nice people. Oh, Natalie. Yeah. She's like, I've been trying to leave for five minutes. <laughs> Natalie. But thank you. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm, it was so much it was so fun seeing everybody because I miss you guys so badly. And uh, you can find me on Instagram at Natalie Cuomo underscore. I love you all. Bye. Check out her on Oh, I thought she left. This was great. Ah, all right, guys. This is thank you, Chrissy. This is great. You. I can't wait till this bullshit is over. We can hang out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chrissy and Anne Marie is going to be on on Monday. Uh, talk Next about Monday. all things uh, last dance. Like all right, love you guys. Bye.